This video is sponsored by Unify Drive. And this is their new product, the UT2. This is a portable NAS that not only fixes a lot of the problems that we have with normal external hard drives and SSDs, but it also has a lot more features and functionality. The UT2 is like the Swiss Army knife of storage solutions, with dual slots for M.2 NVMe drives not included, this can house up to 16 terabytes of super fast solid state storage. This has a built-in battery, so it can keep your information safe during a power outage, and the built-in battery also allows it to operate as a standalone device. When it's plugged into a computer via the included USB Type-C cable, it operates just like a normal thumb drive. But then unplugged, this has a local area network, so you can still connect directly to it wirelessly with your computer, a phone, a tablet, or even a smart TV. And because this is acting as the router, you don't have to have internet in order for it to work. You could be sitting on a bench at the park and you would still be able to transfer files from your phone or your laptop onto this device. I could see this being an incredibly useful tool for everybody from professional film crews to travel vloggers and wedding photographers. And speaking of photography, this also has a CF express card slot and an SD card slot here on the end. So you can take the SD card straight out of your camera, plug it into here, and then by just pressing this one button on the side right here, it will automatically copy all of the information from your SD card onto the drive. And then you can just take your SD card and format it when you put it back into your camera to give you more space to continue filming. Or you could leave all of the information on the SD card and the drive so that you have redundancy just in case something happens to one of them. Now, when you're not on the go and you're using this at home, this can connect to your home's internet, either through Wi-Fi or the ethernet port and included ethernet cable. And once this has been connected to the internet, it can be accessed from anywhere in the world. So next time you're on vacation and you run out of room on your phone to take photos, you can just back up a bunch of your photos onto the drive delete them off of your phone to make more space, and all of those backed up photos will now be safely stored at home. And of course, they're still easily accessible with the Unified Drive app. And when you are at home, you can either connect to this drive through its own built-in wireless connection like we already talked about, or you can connect to it through your home's Wi-Fi, which may or may not be faster depending on your home's Wi-Fi router. When I'm connected to the router, it's showing that I have a thousand megabit per second transfer speeds. So that's when my phone is wirelessly connected to the router and then the router is hardwired to the drive. And now if I switch this over and connect my phone directly to the drive wirelessly, it's now showing that I have 720 megabit per second transfer speeds, which is still really fast. Just for reference, you only really need like 50 megabit per second speeds in order to stream 8K video. And on that note, this also has an HDMI 2.1 port capable of streaming 8K at 60 Hertz. Why does this storage device need an HDMI port, you may be wondering? Well, that's because this is not just an external drive. It's a full-fledged ARM-based computer. So when you plug this into a screen, it launches its own operating system and becomes your 8K Blu-ray home media center, which is why it even comes with its own remote. So you can control this from the comfort of your couch while streaming those crazy high-res movies that you've saved on it. Also, if you do ever lose this remote, you can just use your phone as the remote as well. This has its own app interface, which is really great for transferring files and managing files, but because it's an ARM-based computer, it can also run Android. Now, this is a feature that hasn't been released yet, so I haven't actually been able to try it out for myself, but with a future update, you're supposed to be able to seamlessly switch between the app and Android, or at least be able to boot Android inside of the app. And from what I understand, it will even be able to run multiple 
virtual androids at the same time. There's an AI chip built into this as well that gives it face recognition and scene recognition capabilities that make it really easy to find any of the files that you're looking for with a word search. So if I just type in sunset, it will pull up all of the photos that have a sunset. And because the AI chip is integrated, that means all of that smart photo recognition is happening locally on the device. So it does not have to be plugged into the internet for those features to work. Like I mentioned before, this has two M.2 slots for SSDs, which means if you put two eight terabyte SSDs in here, you'll have a total of 16 terabytes. Alternatively though, you can also set it up to have a RAID 1 configuration. And RAID 1 just means that all of the information that you save on here will be duplicated and saved onto both drives. So if one drive dies, all of your information will still be stored on the other drive. So this can be a really secure way to store your information. If you think this looks like the perfect storage solution for your needs, you can get in on their early bird Kickstarter prices when their Kickstarter goes live later this month. And if you're watching this before the Kickstarter, I'll still leave a link in the description to their website where you can go sign up with your email so that you get notified when the Kickstarter goes live. The tentative price point for this, I've been told, is $399, though they said that could be subject to change. Though even if it is $399, which sounds like a reasonable price, there's still the cost of the SSDs that you need to consider, which is going to vary a lot, depending on whether you were to buy one 500 gigabyte SSD or two 8 terabyte SSDs. But either way, I'll leave several links in the description to several different SSDs that I would recommend at various price points. The UT2 is definitely unlike anything else on the market right now. It's capable of so many different things and I'm really curious to see how people integrate this into their workflow in various work environments. As always, you can watch some more of my videos right here and I'll see you in the next one.